What's going on everybody? How's everybody doing out there? Hey, let's talk about people's merch. All right, everybody's got a Teespring account or a Spreadshop account, something like that. So everybody's buying up everybody's mugs. Well, you need a place to put them. So people are going to make shelves or put them in their windowsills or whatnot, you know. So I need some space, which I don't have. I've just got this much to work with. So I'm going to make a cup holder, cup hook, coffee cup hook, mug holder, whatever you want to call it. So I can buy people's merch. It's like a couple other people uh, collecting everybody's mugs or stickers. Trying to support everybody, plus gets the word out, you know. Gets the word out about everybody else's channels. Like Crooked River and Eastern here. So I need a place. Well, I could probably put a shelf behind the layout, but then I can't reach it. So, get a cup holder, maybe a hook. So, I'm going to use railroad spikes. Picked up a bunch of these from a buddy of mine. He gave me some. So, I'm going to make a cup holder to hang everybody's merch on, like Dave's, out of railroad spikes. So, I think that'll work out pretty good. Take a look. All right, what I'm doing is I'm starting with this one by six, and I went ahead and marked out where I want my holes to be. So I'll drill those out. So go ahead and drill the first hole here. I'll just continue on with the rest of them. I think I got 10 total. Okay, I got the holes drilled. Now I'm going to use railroad spikes that a buddy of mine gave me. And I'm going to cut them to length. It's going to be loud. those are going to be my cup hooks so I got about 10 of those to do and we'll do the next step all right now we're just going to clean up the edges because they're a little bit funky and I'm going to round off the corners so I'm going to pound it through the wood hopefully it won't split looks a little better oops where you at there you go that looks a little better so we'll just continue with those I got nine more to do all right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the surface rust off of them just to clean them up just a little bit not much The next process is I'm going to clear coat it. Just a light clear coat. Nothing major, nothing fancy. So we'll let them dry, turn them over, and finish the other side. All right, now my next step is I'm going to burn the 
backdrop with the holes in it. Anybody knows me, I pretty much burn everything. I hate staining. We'll just lightly do this. I don't get rid of any pencil marks or nothing like that. We'll just go through and burn that. So I'll finish that up. We'll show you the results. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spikes that I've cut and sanded and clear coated. And I'm going to slowly put them in the holes. You got to be careful to not to split the wood. I made the holes just a little bit oversized, but a little bit undersized at the same time. I kind of reamed them out. It's like pounding a big nail. Probably hard on your ears. But I'll go through and do all those and we'll get back with you. So there's all 10 basically put in. No need for glue because I made the holes kind of tight. I wobbled out the very ends, left the center tight. That way uh, no glue is needed. They're in there pretty tight. You just got to be careful you run the risk of splitting the wood because the square in a round peg, you know, a square peg in a round hole. So, okay, and here is the end result one YouTube video channels cup hanger. So, everybody's starting their collection of mugs. This will be my start of where I put them. So, let's get this on the wall and see what it looks like. And there you have it. One YouTube channel mug collection railroad spike mug holder. There you go. Turned out pretty good. So I'll buy one every month or every other month. Do a random drawing and see which one comes next. Figure that light would be too bright. So yeah, it is. All right. Well, hope you liked it. It's just a quickie. I just put it up there for now. Maybe I'll rearrange it over this way somewhere or build a bigger one. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Maybe it's informative. Maybe you'll make one of your own or come up with a better idea. But that solved some of my space issues. And I'll be able to hang 10 mugs. Probably take mine down, add another one on there. Or I'll put some here. I don't know. We'll see how many I buy. Hope you guys liked it. Like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Happy out.